presentation of HBO Sports. Hello, I'm Jim Lampley. Coming up May 5 in Las Vegas, Nevada, superstar Floyd Mayweather returns to the ring for his pay-per-view showdown at 154 pounds with Miguel Cotto. For this fight, for the first time, you viewers at home were given the right to choose which classic fights from the careers of Mayweather and Cotto you wanted to see in preparation for the big pay-per-view. In the case of Mayweather, when you went to HBO's Facebook page to vote, you made an interesting choice of fight. 11 years ago, Floyd Mayweather faced off at 130 pounds, 24 pounds south of the Cotto showdown in Las Vegas against unbeaten Diego Chico Corrales. It was regarded as the fight for supremacy at 130 pounds at that moment. It was regarded as by far the biggest hurdle of Mayweather's career up to that point. Floyd's record, 24-0 with 16 knockouts, was impressive, but Corrales was 33-0 with 27 knockouts, regarded as the bigger puncher, and the choice of probably half the ringside reporters to upend Mayweather that night. What took place instead was the unforgettable performance which made Floyd Mayweather indelibly a superstar. So let's go back to January 20, 2001, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, to see how I called Mayweather Corrales with Larry Merchant and George Foreman. Okay. I spoke to both fighters in the dress room. I'll cross you again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands. Good luck. This is quicker and slicker against bigger and stronger. Corrales has to do some damage in the early rounds if he hopes to be able to get to Mayweather in the later rounds. Mayweather has to try to discourage his relentless aggression in these early rounds. So, George, what do you think? One fighter gains a half dozen pounds since weighing in, and the other one gained 16 pounds. Advantage to the much bigger Corrales or advantage to the smaller, quicker Mayweather? If you got an advantage in a ring, anyone and all are good for you. If you're bigger, that's your advantage. Make sure you take advantage and use your advantages. The smaller fella, fella, he's smaller, he better stay small. Move your whole body out of the way. Don't just move your head. Don't move your waist. Move everything. Don't leave anything there for this champion to hit on. Corrales said to us, one thing I know for sure, I'll be giving the first three rounds away. He assumes that he'll lose the first three rounds, but he said during that period of time, I want to be banging on his arms. I want to be hitting him on the top of the head. I want to hit him on the shoulder. I want to crack him on the elbow. I want to do everything I can to wear him down for the late going. I think if you better try to hit that big body in the head as a bigger target, you, if you can't hit those, you'll not be able to hit his hand, his arms. Corrales adjusting his trunks, and Mayweather took advantage to attack. Corrales looking at Mayweather as if to say, can't you see I'm adjusting my trunks? Corrales is bending down. He's looking down, and it's up to Mayweather to make sure that he throws his shot, loop him, and catch him up like that. There you go. That's one. This is the time when you loop him. Corrales said, my job is to keep my body low and my hands high. That way I can try to limit the target for Floyd. He said, but I don't delude myself to think that Floyd won't score. He's too quick. He's going to hit me a lot. Mayweather's very smart. He jabs right in the pit of Corrales' stomach. Corrales shouldn't allow him to be hit in the body this early. Corrales deflecting Floyd Mayweather's left jab attempt with his gloves. Mayweather resorting to hooks and right hand leads. There's, and there's the jab, jab again. again to the pit of the stomach, as George pointed out. It's like a syringe. If you're not careful, if the fight goes on, no somebody's no. sucking every juice from your body, especially punchers. And if he moves that jab up to the chest, is even better. They sparred several years ago as amateurs. On one occasion, Mayweather said, oh, that was easy work. It was like a cakewalk in the park. Corrales said, how could he possibly remember that? I don't care about what I did in sparring yesterday, much less several years ago. That's the one thing punchers have to be very careful of. Don't become overconfident that you don't have to box some yourself. got that much weight of Corrales' ass, he is probably 100% stronger than Mayweather. 
you got to use your strength, though. You can't use it just standing in front of the guy. There were moments for both fighters in round one. Don't get on the rope. Don't get on the rope, because you don't need to be on the rope. All you need to do is keep I'll it in the middle. Right. Yeah, you win. Keep the jab working. You got to keep coming anyway. All right, let, take your time. Let it go run into something. Don't worry. Thank you. I got everything. Close your eyes, boy. Deep breath. Just watch it on. And when he's looping with the right hand, your left hook, OK? Working behind you, keep that pressure on you. He's coming to you. He got a nick already. He got a nick already, but you got to keep working. You got to keep working. Big ones, come on. Big ones. Stay calm. Keep moving your head from side to side. Keep it off center. Make a meet for behind you. Stay there. Let's go. Miguel Diaz who was in the corner of every previous Mayweather fight, said that Mayweather has a nick somewhere. I, uh, I don't see it as yet. Miguel Diaz working for Corrales tonight because Corrales offered him a co-trainer job and therefore a 5% share of his purse. He said that Floyd Mayweather would have paid him 2% of his purse if he'd worked there. But he also said that Floyd was a total gentleman about the situation. This is business. When Miguel went to Floyd and explained what was going on, Floyd said, Miguel, you got to go work for Diego under those circumstances. That's where the money is. You see, Corrales is trying to load up for one big shot. You got to be careful. Three minutes is not a long time to be, be able to accumulate points. And only three only 23 shots. punches in the first round. Right. And that doesn't fit the profile he established for us of wanting to be active early and put a little hurt on Mayweather. But he did land the one big right hand toward the end of the round. He's got the power and he can turn around any time he wants. Now you know his corner told him to keep moving his head from side to side. He has to move his head down to, to uh, Mayweather's size to move his head from side to side. He need not move his head, move your jail. There's no way that Mayweather can hit him if he stands up and keeps, and keeps his hands up. But he wants to engage Mayweather. Right. And as he tries clean. to engage him, he'll get lower and give Floyd more of a chance to get at him. Right on the, that's the best point, Mays. And there's the right hand by Mayweather, the right hand lead, partially blocked by Diego Corrales. Second round, similar to the first, in that Floyd is more active, and Corrales, as George pointed out, searching to land the one big shot. Good little poke with the left by Mayweather. He backs away and repeats the action. Just because a guy is smaller than you does not mean he can't hit. Now, all of Mayweather's opponents tend to say afterward, he hits harder than you think he does. Mayweather is very careful to throw his shots and get out of the way. He's not trying to mix it up. Good left hook by Floyd Mayweather. Well set up. Morales reaching and missing with the left. A great setback. It's going to be important for Corrales not to get frustrated as he searches and searches to try to find the elusive Mayweather Jr. You can't try to hit him with one shot. Throw three or four shots, and you'll get you a land one. Corrales is trying to get one shot in. Round two has been an excellent round for Floyd Mayweather no holding, Jr. No holding, no holding, holding him who down. has established a tempo at which he can score effectively. We haven't seen one left jab from the tall opponent yet. Good round for Mayweather. Corrales searching too hard and too long for the one big power shot. Lloyd Mayweather Sr. was trying to offer some instruction across the top rope in the first round, but Uncle Roger and Floyd Jr. didn't give him any attention. Tell the floor to keep doing what he's doing. By the tell the floor keep doing what he's doing. Seven to eight, ninth round, he'll be ready to go. Look, Floyd! Keep doing what you're doing, Floyd. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep your hands up good. Seventh, eighth, ninth round, he's ready to go. All right, now they do pay attention to him. Both Roger and Floyd turning to listen to what Floyd Sr. Right. had to say. Keep the head moving. Don't go back to the rope. Okay. Keep him in the Go around the corner when you're jacked. Keep him in the Keep 
<laughs> in round two by CompuBox numbers, a wipeout for Mayweather. 18 out of 40 for 45 percent. Corrales landing only three of 20 punches in the second round. So Diego step Corrales back, is going to have to step up his activity level and find more ways to get at Floyd Mayweather. Corrales gets close, does not even throw one punch. Trying to land one big one. Get his confidence going, and you're going to have trouble. Mayweather is working it now. As I said in the second round, he's developed a tempo at which he can score. He's moving in and out, side to side, taking advantage of his opportunities when they're there. And Corrales can scarcely find a moment to throw a punch. And I think you can give away too many rounds Corrales is doing right now. You don't want to give away all of your rounds and then try to, and must have a knockout. Especially when you're in with a boxer. Never That's thought. a good left hook by Corrales. Probably the best punch of both fighters tonight. Corrales manages right, to stalk right. Mayweather into the corner. Protect yourself. Richard Steele pulls him apart. Steele told him to protect yourself at all times. That's what you're supposed to do. Corrales is trying to hit him back after be first. Morales ducking the left jab and missing with the left hook. Turns to look at the big screen as he goes back to the Punch middle of the ring. Punch to get out. No holy. Break. Step back. Step back. Morales again looks up at the big screen. Not sure what he's trying to see up there. Once Mayweather right establishes the left jab, jab, he can do anything he wants. Right now, he hasn't gotten it good yet. He has to withdraw it real quick and retreat. Good right hand. It was grazing, but it was almost right at Mayweather's head. And it's bothered Diego Corrales' left eye. He put the gloves up to touch the left eye and seems to be blinking for the moment. And incidentally, there's a clock on the big screen. So when Corrales looks at it, he's checking to see how much time is left in the round. Mayweather's on, on his toes. That's what you gotta do. You can't, only time you rest is when you sit on that stool. You gotta keep your feet moving at all times. If Mayweather can do this at this rate for 12 rounds, it's gonna be awfully difficult for Diego Corrales to find a way to score. His back is against the rope as his dad told him not to. Now you see what the challenge facing Corrales is. Hard body shot with the right hand. And he said, I have to find a way to make him stop and fight. Well, Corrales said he, uh, he would have to give away the early rounds. But as you say, George, you can't give away too many of them. He's going to have to get something done here soon like that. Corrales let him open up with his left jab. This is the first time he was able to land one. He's only thrown 11 jabs in the first three rounds by CompuBox numbers. Harold, how'd you score him? Okay, Jim, 30 to 27, three rounds to nothing in favor of the champion, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, you call this ring generalship. He goes side to side, works that jab up and down, comes over the top with the right hand, fighting a beautiful fight so far. Keeping uh, Diego Corrales off balance, Diego just can't get off. Floyd landed all the clean, hard shots. So a shout out for Mayweather so far. Morales stalking and stalking. Mayweather moving and boxing. What you do when you're in there with a puncher, you let him throw Punch two or three out. hard shots. Then you get closer and start hitting. But wait, because he has to collect his breathing first. And that's what Mayweather is doing. It's the old okey-doke. Mayweather landing the right hand. 
Jabbing twice. Corrales trying to set up and get off. Mayweather Ooh. firing and then moving. Back to the jab, to the body with that jab again, Mayweather does. Now he's going to allow Corrales to throw the big shots, four or five, and then he's going to get right back on him. Well executed fight plan so far for Floyd Mayweather Jr. Right, stop it. Corrales may have to simply throw a little more caution to the wind and be more aggressive. Got to use his jab. He's the taller guy, and he hasn't thrown any jab. Now he uses a jab to set up a right and a left. Left hand landed to the body. Mayweather comes back, sticking his own jab and stopping Corrales' momentum. You can see now a combination of defense and offense by Floyd Mayweather. Looks like his dad and his uncle both made an impression tonight. Absolutely right. He's been brilliant both ways. You can't stop like that. Good left to the body by Corrales. Right hand over the top. Mayweather comes back with an angry right hand of his own over the top. Good left hook to the body by Floyd. Corrales smiles at him, usually a sign that he's been a little shocked. But Mayweather doesn't want to get into these big exchanges with Corrales. He's going to get the best every time. Now he's getting right back on him because he's expelled a lot of energy throwing those big shots. Mayweather can get him now. There you go. Good left hook and a right cross by Mayweather. Another sticking right lands upstairs. You always wait until the puncher throws four or five big shots. He loses his oxygen, and then you get back on him. Corrales going back to the body. If there's one thing Diego Corrales has gotten better at in round four, it is that he got to Mayweather's body a couple of times. But yes. Floyd Mayweather is still piling up the points. Match better this round. Match better, okay? Speed over here. Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up a little bit more. Pick it up a little bit more. Okay. Let's come on with the jab now. Okay. Give me some combinations. Punches and bunches. Okay. You need to stay with your hands. Don't don't pull, don't pull out from the punches like you've been doing. You're getting hit. Stay yeah. with your hands. Yeah. Okay. Just stay with it. Stay with give it. Me the, give me the right hand that we always talk about this way and that way. Would you? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to work, baby. Never apart. So far, this fight resembles the Whitaker Chavez fight, in which the boxer is simply frustrating the banger. Corrales corner told him to start jabbing now. Use combinations. You just can't walk into this guy. He can hit also. Well, in round four by CompuBox numbers, Mayweather outlanded Corrales 22 to 7. Diego's only averaging throwing 22 punches around. And you heard his father slash trainer Ray Wood saying, step it up. You've got to start building the tempo to a higher level than it's been so far. Brilliantly executed fight plan by Floyd Mayweather and his quickness. Speed, versatility, big differences in the bout so far. Here's a guy like Mayweather who spent a lot of years in the gym with bigger guys, middleweights, oh, light heavyweights. He's not intimidated with this big size. Corrales has got to put the hard power on him, hit him in his chest, bring in the combination, stop trying to throw one shot at a time. When he's able to put his punches together, Corrales' power is explosive. But when a man is as quick and elusive as Floyd Mayweather Jr., it's extremely difficult to hit him with more than one shot at a time. No, now, there's one punch to the body. One no, two to the body. Good body shot there. by Corrales. That's where the business can be done if he's going to do it. Mayweather goes right back to the body. If you're able to land two or three jabs to the, to the, to the stomach of your opponent, you can easily come back upstairs with a left hook because his body is right hand automatically goes down for protection. Floyd Patterson would go down, go down to the body, and then fake like he's going and come back up to the head. Custy Amato stuff. 
is missing big twice upstairs. Corrales is starting to pick up the speed a little bit because Mayweather is slowing up as far as output. He's not throwing shots anymore. He's moving his body, but he's not throwing punches. Those body shots around the side can accumulate and do some damage. If you're going to tie a guy up, you tie him up completely so he can't even touch you on the side. Hard right hand by Mayweather. Now Mayweather started to hit and move again. Morales doesn't seem to be bothered so far by Mayweather's punching power, but if you hit a guy enough times, the punishment builds up. Mayweather hasn't tried to sit down on any shot yet. Everything is hit and move. And you heard even defensively minded Floyd Sr. saying, if you keep this up, you'll be ready to go by the seventh, eighth, and ninth rounds. Whoa! A little spin move. A little swelling around the right eye of Diego Corrales. And a happy night so far for the Mayweather family. Close your eyes when you put a word in your face. You shut him down, you look real smart. Keep doing this. Tenth round, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll Keep fighting smart. This ain't nothing but the gym, okay? Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. I feel your legs good? I feel good. All right, let's keep working then. Shut them out, baby. Keep the head moving. Keep, keep, keep the head moving. Keep, keep the head moving. Keep the jab rotating. Go ahead. Uh -huh. You ain't around. You, you, you working good. Working good. Don't worry about what you did over there. We're going to do some more of that. Don't worry about that. Okay. Stay focused on the man. Hey, man, don't put so much water on it. Make my cup heavy. Don't, 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 don't okay. put water. No offense. Okay. Put water in his mouth. Corrales missing and missing big, over and over. Takes a lot of a, out of a puncher to miss like that. Joe Lewis famous, famously said you can run, but you can't hide. Mayweather is running, hiding, and hitting. Body shot by Corrales. Those right hands to the body can really pay some dividends if this fight goes beyond 10 rounds. In five rounds in the fight, Chico Corrales still averaging only 25 punches thrown per round. Pretty hard to find the target. Mayweather landing close to half of his shots, working at a measured tempo that works for him. Now Corrales begins to get more active as Mayweather's feet start to move just a little less. Hard left hook upstairs by Floyd Mayweather. Hunter, get out! So quick on the triggers. This is the this is the Uncle Roger part of Mayweather. Mayweather's also really brave. I wouldn't be that brave in there with a puncher like Corrales. Well, he's so quick that he feels he has the advantage outside or inside, and that sometimes he can't stand and deliver, George. Diego being bothered by his right eye. You see him pawing it with the glove from moment to moment. Here when you see a fighter's in good shape, when he takes his feet all around the ring like that, he moves his whole body. Body shot by Corrales. Pro Corrales crowd got excited. Mayweather moved away. Mayweather goes right, right, and then he goes left, left. It's a rhythm that throws his opponent out. See the left? Oh, it's still landing two or three break, where every back, one back. punch landed by Corrales. This is an exciting fight when you see two different kinds of boxers executing perfectly what one ought to do, but the other punch is just not using his left jab. Big left hook to the body by Mayweather. Stunned Corrales. Mayweather keeps his eyes on the whole body of Corrales. Shoulders, head. That's why he's able to just run out of the way. He see it coming. Now Corrales, Corrales thought for a moment that he had him, and boom. Just like that, Mayweather was gone, and he stepped back in to land three punches and move away again. Remember, it's always after Corrales has thrown some hard shots to take the win out of him himself. And while he's trying to regroup group himself, you jump on him, and that's what Mayweather's doing. Pretty boy Floyd is pretty strong tonight. And he whacks Diego Corrales on the chin with a left hook. And they got to be careful about following a guy who has knockouts on his records also. You got to follow him with punches. 
Well, Just everybody who faces it. him says right. that Mayweather is a deceptive puncher. How you feel? Good? Deep breath? How you feel? So I should know. Keep going to the body. You're hitting the good jab and you keep taking with the hook. That's what I'm talking about. Throw the lead right hand. Now I want you to frame a little more. Frame a little more. Just drop the right hand to the body. It's time to go, baby. It's time to go. Mayweather fights in a tradition of boxing and quick handedness that goes back in Michigan all the way to fighters like Sugar Ray Robinson. Well, there's a brilliant start to round seven. The super quickness of Floyd Mayweather produces a knockdown to begin the seventh round. Corrales had any thought whatsoever of trying to come back and win a decision. That should put an end to that. He's lost the first six rounds. Now he's facing a two-point round in the seventh. Mayweather now stops to recollect himself now. You want to, that's what you want to do with a puncher. He gets back on his feet. He's going to hurt you. Get your legs back under you. Take a deep breath and do it all over again what you did first. Corrales gets down and just goes right into the, to the left hook of uh, Mayweather. You knew coming in that Mayweather had a quickness advantage. I'm just not sure how many of us expected it to be this dramatic and this graphic. I mean, this has been a wipeout and a brilliant performance by Floyd. But you wonder if Corrales, in getting back down to 130 pounds... Oh, no. Oh, no. This has been a masterful job here. This has been a job of pure boxing. Pure boxing. So it doesn't matter who no, 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 no. is in. No, I agree with George. As, as much as it is a disadvantage for Corrales to have to come down at 130, it doesn't look the way this fight is going. It would make any difference at 135 or 140. <laughs> I think I have to agree with that. <laughs> at any of these weights, Mayweather would be quicker and more skillful. Right. Corrales Stop. still has the power. So we won't count him out yet. No, no. All you got to do is get Mayweather too overconfident, start trying to mix it up with this puncher, and Mayweather can be getting off, off the canvas himself. And he's got to find a way to apply the power if he's going to change the course of the fight, and he hasn't Don't gotten worry. anywhere near it, throwing an average of less than 25 punches per round. I often say it, if you want to be a good fighter, forget about the left jab. If you want to be a great fighter, that's the best punch in boxing. Morales has not used the jab all night. And the second knockdown of the round for Mayweather. And the accumulated Four. punishment by Corrales Five. has left, or Six. by Mayweather, has left seven. Corrales woozy on his feet in the seventh round. There is no three knockdown rule. There are 20 seconds left in the round. <laughs> The third knockdown of the Four, round. Five, six, and you cannot be saved seven, by the bell, but it looks as eight, though Corrales will have a chance come to, me. to at least make it out of the round. Three knockdowns in the seventh round by Floyd Mayweather Jr. Richard Steele did a great job that round. Listen. The state Marco, commission you doctor who asked Corrales how he was doing and if he wanted to keep fighting. Hey, yeah. That's your last round. I'm going to let you come out if you don't throw punches. Right. I'm going to start the fight myself. Right. Me and your daddy, we already decided to start the fight. Like all, you, all you fight, or we start the fight. Okay? You got it? You are with us or not? You are with us? Here are the knockdowns, Larry. The first one was right as the, at the bell of the first round, caught him by surprise. But the later ones 
it appeared that Corrales was okay and aware of everything going on. But he's in a position now in this fight where he has to start going from being relentless to being reckless. And against a sharp shooter like Mayweather, oh. that may not be the best way to fight. And doesn't look like Corrales has a lot of legs left. You heard Diego, or I should say Miguel Diaz, you heard Miguel Diaz saying, we're gonna stop the fight if you don't start throwing some punches. So he throws punches, but takes punches in return. Always gotta be careful with that puncher. Corrales, is, if he can't do anything else, he can punch. And here he is coming off three knockdowns in the last round, and he's still coming forward. And there's a quick left hook by Corrales that momentarily sends Mayweather back to He follows Mayweather around, not doing anything, just walking straight into him without a throwing a punch. You've got to throw a punch. Mayweather with a little smile break, on his break, face. Break. Keep him in it's front been of him, easy okay? work so far, that's for sure. Corrales has been embarrassed here, and it was on that embarrassment that Miguel Diaz tried to play when he said, your dad and I are gonna stop this fight. Every time Mayweather throws his left hook, Corrales drops his right hand. Drops both hands, I've never seen anything like that. You go down, you take your hands with you. And now Corrales gets in a shot, showing his determination. His corner told him, fight or we're gonna throw in the towel. So far, this, this counts as a hell of a rally by Corrales coming off that last round. Can't question his courage, that's for sure. Another laser left hand. Throws it, so throw yep, the hook, throws it, throws Corrales right drops his hand. George. Never seen anything like it. You drop your head, keep your hands up. adjusting his trunks, his hands down on his legs. Mayweather elected not to fire at that moment. Larry, how good is he, Mayweather? Well, he seems to be almost, you know, a nine-second sprinter fighting against ten-second sprinters in all of his fights. He just has, a, aside, quite aside from his skill level, it's his quickness level that puts him into a different dimension. The most optimistic comparisons are between Mayweather Jr. and Ray Leonard because of the combination and speed and of speed and power. His detractors compare him more to Brunel Whitaker. Saying As the left jab. Now he's knocking his head back with a left jab, and he's the shorter opponent. You know, in a fight that this has been compared to Leonard and Hearns, at this point in the fight, Hearns started to box and use his reach. Corrales either can't or match won't ready. do that. Match ready, this round. Match ready, this round. You see, you can do it. You can do it if you, you don't can have do it if you want it. He caught him with some punches that round. But if you follow, 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 you don't do nothing. It's very hard for you. You got to throw your punches, Chico, okay? Take a deep breath. Jab and double up on your hook. Okay. All right. Sometimes throw your, throw your right hand and let me show you right. throw, show the right into the hook. Okay. You fight real smart. Thank you. Smart boxing. You desperate. All you do is desperate. So keep your eyes focused. Okay. Okay. Keep going to the body. Off the jab. Don't do nothing without the jab. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's fight. Let's fight. Off the jab. Corrales is achieving an embarrassing CompuBox distinction. According to CompuBox numbers, he's landed in single digits in all eight rounds. He'll set a record at this rate. Reggie Johnson against Roy Jones right, right, landed in single digits in seven of 12 rounds. Holyfield versus Lennox Lewis in their first fight did so in six of 12 rounds. Harold, how do you have it through eight? He'll catch him 80 to 70. Uh, eight rounds to nothing, Floyd Mayweather Jr. Jim, I gotta tell you, I'm terribly impressed. I don't think I've seen an exhibition of boxing like this since Willie Pep. This kid is unbelievable. Great legs, great speed, unbelievable ring generalship. I mean, he's got tremendous presence in that ring. Floyd Mayweather knows where he is every minute of this fight, and he's murdering Diego Corrales with those jibs and overhand rights. And by the way, Jim, the three knockdown uh, round, I went 10-7. Most judges will not go below 10-7 because it puts the other guy too far out of the fight. 
So you don't rock them again with that left hook. Yep. Well, I mean, no, Larry, Merchant has, Larry Merchant has seen more championship great fighters than anyone at this table. And for him to say Willie Pelt, what do you think? Well, oh, well he's going to judge, too. Don't get me wrong. You know, I can't, I, you know, it's, it's difficult to make comparisons because you have to talk over, over a long career. We're seeing him as a young man. Uh, and right now, he just has otherworldly quickness. And the difference between athletes is usually in their degree of quickness and speed. Well, this is almost like a Tiger Woods kind of performance against the field. This is a guy who knows what he's talking about. He's seen them. You can't get lazy. Mayweather better beware. Let him lose a round, George. Stop being so nervous about him. <laughs> but he, he lose the round. He can lose the fight with this powerful guy. Oh, but that left jab rocked his head back. He could lose the last four rounds on two-point rounds, and he'd still win the fight by Harold's scorecard. So I think he's pretty well in control of this. Here's a guy that's been knocked down more than once. He continuously follows this guy around the ring. And after throwing enough punches to satisfy Miguel Diaz and Ray Woods in the eighth round, Corrales goes back in the ninth round to walking around and looking at Mayweather. Just hasn't been able to get off. Can't seem to zero in and get his antenna set. That was what Mayweather doesn't want to do. You want to keep your feet moving, not your shoulders. Good body shot by Corrales. Ten seconds to go in the ninth. Nine minutes left in the fight after this. Time running out on Diego Corrales on. as he desperately tries to find come on, come on, come on. something that will work against the super brilliant Floyd Mayweather Jr. Do you see when you're using the jab? When you're using the jab first? It's much easier for you. I'm giving you all I have. Okay, baby. Jab, jab, right hand, let go. And jab again, and jab. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The streak continues for Corrales. Single digits landed in every one of the hey, nine we rounds. I know we do. We need to stop him. We need to stop him. Yeah. So move your hands. Right. Move your eyes. You don't like it downstairs. Keep right. on going downstairs. Right. And yeah, after throwing down. only 25 right. punches in the ninth round, you heard Corrales say to his corner, I'm giving you guys everything I've got. That's frustration. So Floyd Mayweather has, in all likelihood, won every round. Most rounds he's dominated. He knocked Diego Corrales down three times in the seventh round. His most important punch for Mayweather has been that left jab right in the pit of the stomach. Makes his taller opponent bend down more and more to his level. The odds were close. Ringside experts were probably pretty close to evenly divided as to who is going to win the fight. And Mayweather's just walking away with it Don't as he push. pushes Diego down. And Richard Steele says, don't push. Mayweather has the tendency occasionally to use his elbows, you know. Richard Steele caught onto it instantly. Said, no, 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 no form. Quick left hook and a walk away by Mayweather as Corrales tried to close in. You can't, you gotta throw punches if you're gonna walk forward. Just throw, just let the jab just fly out. Even if you miss him, just throw it. Another little left hook. Didn't even seem like that big a punch. Corrales' Four. legs are just shot Five. from the multiple punches Six. he's taken. Seven. Eight. And Diego pulls himself up by the ropes. He doesn't look like he has much left, Jim. No, he's... If he went down on that punch, I think he has very little left. That's the fourth knockdown of the fight. Morales 
Reigns with a right hand to the rib cage. It's like playing with a cobra. You can be in control, but one, all he takes is one or two good shots. Right hand, another knockdown, fifth knockdown of the fight, Three, fifth knockdown of Corrales' career. Five, another mark of what a performance it's six, been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad for having stopped the fight. Corrales can come back. 138. Richard Steele, Steele is holding Kiko Morales to try to keep him away from his own corner man because Diego is so upset that his trainer and father, Ray Woods, elected to stop the fight. He can come back at 140 with all his strength and be a better fighter. And it takes a father to know that. Don't lose it all this time. For what? You've done your best. This guy's too quick. Catch him 10 years from the day when he's slow, when his legs are slow. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on a brilliant performance. Ladies and Lloyd. gentlemen, referee Richard Steele calls a halt to the bout. The official time, two minutes and 19 seconds of round number 10. The winner and still the reigning undefeated WBC super featherweight champion of the world, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Corrales was a colorful character. Immediately after the loss to Mayweather, he went to prison to serve 14 months for having beaten his pregnant wife. A couple of years after that, he came out to fight against Jose Luis Castillo in one of the greatest fights of all time. And he died in a motorcycle accident in 2007. As for Floyd Mayweather, 11 years later, he's still unbeaten. And on May 5, he'll be taking that unbeaten record into the ring to risk it at 154 pounds against Miguel Cotto in Las Vegas. It'll be coming to you live on HBO Pay-Per-View. Don't miss it. This has been a presentation of HBO Sports.